concepts I came up with for uh, DC Illustration uh, of Batman, before I even done many pictures of him in full costume, was this pinup of him uh, showing the scars in his back, which I pulled from a story I read when I was a kid that they referenced his naked back to another character that it looked like a map of scars, but they didn't show it. So I always wondered what that would be physically. So in my early 20s, I did a rough version of this piece that I would later update into a black and white pinup in uh, Batman black and white comic book. But it's something that's actually been picked up in some of the movie stuff that's adapted of not just Batman, but other superhero-like characters. The idea that there's a toll taken, and when you're made of flesh, you're gonna be quite a mess after doing all this stuff. I did a number of cover compositions for Batman before I even started the gig that were just standalone shots of him in various points of posing or action. And I believe this was one that I had conceived of him doing sort of a full body dive. Uh, in fact, it might also be that it was a bit of a revisitation of a sketch, a little sketch painting I did of the Batman Beyond character before. And so I was sort of doing it now as the Bruce Wayne Batman in this sort of launching like a missile shape of him. And, uh, and luckily, because of that design standing alone, it's removed from whatever the storyline was at that time for the cover it was part of, so that we can still look at this piece today. This Batman image is part of a series of images I did for what was a lenticular cover that came out for Batman's 60th anniversary back in 1999. And so I had painted a series of images that were showing sort of a spotlight going across a wall that would catch him in the spotlight for a moment as he reacts to, you know, he's lifting his cape up to block you from getting a full view of him. But then part of the graphic has the cape drop and you see his chest clearly portrayed. Um, this was one of the first straight images I had done of Batman before I got a chance to work on the character for a full graphic novel. So it's unique in its point of history of when I did it. It's between when I did the future version of Batman in Kingdom Come, where he's wearing a hard armored outfit, and it's before I would start to redefine my own way of doing the character because I would eventually, with my model, who did pose for me for this exact painting, or, or series of paintings, um, I would make a mask based upon a head cast of him where I'd sculpted out exactly how I wanted the mask to look and I wanted it to look like it was just like makeup on a, a face, that it wasn't this three-dimensional thing jumping off of a human being, but that it was as close to his skin, like as if a human being becoming Batman is just more of a transformation. It's less about what's plausible and more about what matches what the comics always did, which is they treat cops, costumes as really just naked skin painted. And that's what I thought artistically was desired about Batman, not the practicality of, well, how well will that mask take a gunshot? Like, well, it ain't gonna take a gunshot. It's imaginary in effect. But I wanted to sort of connect a certain thing that I thought intellectually about the character. Mm -hmm. 